Instagram Women's War View. I told y'all I'll be back with another one today for you all. Today, today, let me tell y'all a little bit about energy. Energy. Energy from one person to another is very real. We need to start taking more consideration as to what our energy means to ourselves and to other people. We need to start harboring our energy. We need to save our energy and not share our energy with just anybody. As empaths, you need to learn the importance of your energy. You need to learn that people come into your life and come into your comfortability zone just to soak up your energy sometimes. Sometimes you call these people friends, you call them your husband, you call them your wife. Sometimes you call them co-workers. It's, they come in all different shapes and sizes. But a lot of people in your life just to soak up your energy because you have an energy, you have a light inside of you that they don't. Your light is dull. It's gone. It's, it's gone. It's been burned out. Never had it. So they come at you because they see that light burning in you. They want to soak up your energy, soak up your vibration, and that makes them feel like they are growing. Whole time while you're giving off your energy, you're getting tired, you're dying out. It's like a flower. Flower getting all the sunshine. They come in, they steal all your sunshine. You dying out, your leaves are just falling, coming down to the ground. They rising off of your energy. How far is that? I'm going to tell y'all something that my daughter shared with me that really made me do this video for y'all. I told her, I said, hey, look, I've always been alone. Even when I was young, I was in a room, when I used to be in a room full of people, I always felt like I was just by myself. And I know y'all know what I'm talking about because a lot of y'all feel like it now to this day because I still do. So even when I'm in a room, it is still, even if I'm in a room around multiple people, I feel like I'm by myself. And my daughter looked at me and she said, yeah, I get that. I feel it, mama. But at the same time, one thing I know about you and one thing that I observe and one thing that I've seen myself is that, yeah, you may feel alone when you're in that room, but when you go in that room, your energy shifts that room. So even then, though you in that room and you feeling alone, you feel like you lonely in that room because these people don't got the same vibration that you do. That's why you feel alone. But your energy is so bright that when you walk in that room, your mood shifts that whole room's energy. And you don't even know it. Because sometimes I didn't even know it until it took somebody else to point it out to me. That they watched my energy switch, shift the energy in the whole room. Then I had to think. And I've been in multiple situations. I've been in multiple business. I've been in multiple arenas where my energy did shift the energy in that room. If I'm happy, everybody in that room, we had a good time. If I was sad, I felt some type of way. Everybody in that room kind of fell down. You could tell it was a down, a down spirit in that room. So when she said that, she pointed out something real to me. So that means that even as impasse even more and God's chosen people, we really got to watch the rooms, the arenas, the people that we dwell around. Because just because you in that room and you feel alone, because ain't nobody in there on your level. That's why you feel like it. But your energy is good. They still want you there though. Because everybody in there is soaking up off your energy. When you leave, you tired, you drank. You knew that was somewhere you wasn't supposed to be. But they got your energy, and they good. They winning. To the next video. Women's Warrior, I see you all more. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. I'm back. My Instagram should be back up by the weekend. Women's Warrior, thank you all.